Howdy y'all and welcome to the Hillbilly Harv channel. We are going to try this out. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully everything goes fine. I haven't played Farming Simulator in quite some time, but I was asked to. And I have looked and looked and looked and tried to find a map that will work for me and work for you guys and you know be entertaining and something fun to do and not something everyone else seems to be doing and I don't know if anybody else is doing videos on this but as you can see I have selected one called American Falls okay so this map was created by Lancy Boy which a lot of farming simulator people probably know who Lancy Boy is and he actually has a little story here, which I'm going to read to you right quick. It says, Welcome to the American Falls. You have a big job to do on this map. The previous owner here once had a farm in Illinois called Stone Valley. He came here looking for work, and the American Falls needed a farmer. So he has given a chance. So he was given a chance and did a fantastic job running the area. The local residents helped him out where they could, and the businesses loved working with him. Then all of a sudden he was gone. He had sold all the equipment that belonged to the American Falls community and all the land along with it. Luckily, he didn't sell the trailer where he once lived. The American Falls community has been informed that you look over that you took over Stony Valley, Stone Valley as well. Managing to get that farm running in tip-top shape and your help is needed again. The reason you have been brought here is because American Falls needs a great farmer like you. Unfortunately, there is little money in the pot, just enough to get you going. There's no equipment to spare. You'll have to do local contracts to slowly regain the trust of the community. Use your earnings to buy new farming equipment and eventually buy the land back. Are you up for the challenge? Can you regain the trust of American Falls? That in itself just sounds exciting. I mean, that I, that just sounds cool. I'm guessing this is based off something from a previous map that he's made. I, I don't know. I've not really done a whole lot, you know. I don't, I've not played on the other map that it mentioned in there. So this is my character. This, this is the one I, I designed at some point, and this is just kind of, um, this is what I use, man. Let's see, change the name. We'll just call him Harv. Must have misclicked or something. Alright, so what do we have going on here? So we are at a trailer. It did mention a trailer in the thing. So we're at a trailer. I'm guessing this is our rest. That's our sleep thing. Uh, we have a truck out back. Is that all we own? Is that all we have to our name? We have, a, we have the truck. That's it. That's all we have. We just have one truck. We have a hundred thousand dollars, and we have no land at all. None. What what we're standing on doesn't even belong to us. So that's probably our first should be our first goal is to buy the land we're standing on, which we don't even have close to enough money. So let's see if we could get really lucky, and we did not. I was hoping there'd be a tractor in here. That would be ideal. If we could got a tractor in the sale right away. But I think. So to start out with. What we need to do is like he said. We need to gain the trust of our community. So we need to. Get a contract. That's not too bad. 6400. Oh one just disappeared. It's a fertilizing contract. And then there's a spraying contract. That's not ideal. I wish we had. Wish we had. So we're in August. So, oats and corn are up, but there's no contracts for harvesting. Okay, all the contracts are disappearing. I don't I don't know what's up with that. Are they all going to disappear? Am I going to get new ones? I don't know. Let's just drive around for a little bit. How about that? And I did just hook up my steering wheel, so we'll see how this goes. I don't I don't know that all the controls are are here yet. Okay, so that's working. I got basically a G27 steering wheel and then a Logitech, um, what do you call it? Joystick. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 
I, I'll eventually figure out what I'm wanting to say. This is a cool looking map already though. Like you can't just see all the way across is what I'm saying. Like it's not it's not super flat and it's got loads and loads of trees. It's pretty well it just almost looks like where I live, other than we don't really have any crop farms here. Not not too many. There's some in uh local places. I guess I should have looked up to see where the uh let me pull off the road here right quick. Let's see where the store is. Are we going in the right direction? Could we have gotten that lucky? Where am I at again? Let's see. I was... Oh, I was there. I happened to go the wrong direction. Because the store is... There's a gas station. I thought I'd just seen the store. There's my farmhouse. Where am I looking for? Loads of gas stations. That's really electric charging station. Biomethane station. Falls Garden Center. Better Earth Products. Let's see. There's the store right there. Vehicle shop. That's where stuff goes if we buy it. So that'll work. Let's check contracts again. So just fertilizer. Maybe we'll just do that. Let's see. These machines are waiting for you at the shop. All right, so we'll go to the shop. So I need to turn around, go back, and take a left at the first store. I'm sure nobody's coming. I don't want to hit anybody. All right, so turn around, do a Yui, like you do in America. Usually this is where I'd probably do like a jump cut, you know, but... I don't know. Maybe you guys haven't seen the map. This is actually super cool looking. Oh, that's probably where we're supposed to turn. That brake works, doesn't it? I need to lower the sensitivity on that thing. I stopped shoot. I did stop though. I guess there's that. That's a benefit. Oh, that's super cool looking. Look at that. Which I don't know if he has any collectibles. I guess I should have read that. That's probably in the description. Whether he had collectibles on there. house just think eventually we may own all of this if we just keep doing stuff and building and doing that sort of thing we'll just own everything here we go coming into town now gas station local feed mill or whatever this actually reminds me of like probably multiple different towns that I've been through Gotta be careful. I thought those lights were flashing there for a second. That's so why I slowed down. I'm like, I don't want the train to just plow right into our pickup truck. Is it not open? How does this work? It's 8 30. I got it figured out. So if you read in the mod description, it says that the gates will not open until. 9 a.m. on the when you first load the map in, they won't open till 9 a.m. So then every day after this, they'll open at 8. Not sure what's up with that, but you know, I don't really know how to create ma maps, so I guess however they want to do it, they'll do it. I need to set up all my buttons. Let's see if this here works. It does. Cool, man. Was that, uh, yeah, that was like that. I'm gonna have to get used to this right here, unfortunately. That's not gonna work. I need to program that differently, I guess. Alright, so it says, what a, I actually haven't done this in a long time. So we need to buy fertilizer. So field 41 is right there what is that going through the middle of it i wonder tree line or something we better buy a decent amount of fertilizer i suppose how much does i don't know 
what do we have? The Brindle, something, something. I want to see how much this holds. Spreader. This one, so. I'm guessing we have that one, if I were to guess. So, 9,000 to 14,000 liters. So let's buy, let's just buy like five of them, maybe. Solid fertilizer. Boy, that's a lot of money in it. Uh, I don't want to run out, though. That would be, that would not be ideal. Let's get five of them. We can always use them for later. All right. All right, we got our field found. Unfortunately, they got, they got us driving through sunflowers, but I don't, it's not my field, so I'll just, I guess I'll just do it however it is they want me to do it. This is this is the equipment they picked for us, so we will do it the way they want because we're trying to make them happy at the moment. Because apparently nobody likes us because we have taken over for somebody that was not very nice. They helped him out and gave him equipment and all that good stuff. And then all of a sudden he just, you know, took off. No idea where he went. Probably just sold everything so he could make some money. Maybe it was all a scam. I don't know. But we'll take care of them. We'll do all the work they need done. Might be a little better if we had GPS, but I guess we'll figure it out. Get her all done. Hopefully my steering wheel ain't making too much noise. Apparently it's making more noise than this tractor, though. Because I, I can't hear this thing at all. Is it electric? No, it's got an exhaust. Maybe it's methane. Not really paid too awful much attention to, you know, all the different kinds of tractors. Alright, it has finally said that we are finished, and what is that? Is that a collectible? It is. There's a little piggy. Uh, I'm going to guess that means there's the same uh, same collectibles as the base map, I guess. Because that's, that's what the base maps do. They'll do ten of each, like, five different kinds of pig or animals or whatever. Cows and pigs and goats and that sort of stuff. But anyway, got our contract done. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll just switch to end cap view. It looks better. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Maybe we ought to take the uh, fertilizer to the house, but maybe we we'll just store it. To, you know, keep it at the store for now. That'd probably be better. They probably won't mind. We'll move the bags off in the corner and it, it'll be alright. There we go. Contract income $5,557. I like it. And the store owner in there said I can leave my I can leave my pallets here of my fertilizer since I bought way too much. He appreciated the fact that I bought too much, but you know, it is. It is all right. Anything popped up yet? Nope. We have a hoe pulls out small and medium grown weeds between crops. I guess that's sort of like a weeder. Yeah, I really like to have that right there. That's a nice looking. That's a nice looking machine. We're a long ways from needing something like that though. I don't really know what we do if we got no contracts. Because we got no no land at the moment. Can we buy land? Is there any land anywhere at all that we could... And it says weeds have just taken over everything. Where's our house? Our house is right there. Like I said, that's $312,000. Oh, man, that's a lot of money. This is only thirty-eight though. I wonder if we could move our trailer to near the store. 
Where was the store down here? Is there any land down here we could buy? There's that. I guess we could run and look at that. Maybe we'd just buy that. It's closer to the store. Or like these here? I don't know what these are. There might be, oh yeah, there's productions there. There's carpentry, seed production. I guess we need to look at something like that, because that's, I wonder what that is. There's nothing there. Think it's a farmyard, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's a placeable. Let's go check it out. We'll go down there, take a left, I guess. And it's just on the left once we actually, once we turn left. I tell you what, though, man, that, that right there, that was a nice tractor. It'd be great if we could afford something like that right now, but we are, we are so far away from that, it's not even funny. All we got right now is this old pickup. Figured out why I couldn't hear that tractor. It's because my headphones were turned down. I bet you guys could hear it though. It should have recorded properly. So what are we looking at? We're looking at this right here. No, this ain't a proper farmyard. I, I bet there ain't probably no good, real good farmyard here on this map. Alright y'all, so I've been looking around the map here, and as far as I can tell, you have four, we have four different options for farms. I guess like the pre-setup farmyards, which we'll probably eventually buy all of them, that'd be good. But right now we're at this one, and you, there's this one here, there's one over here, there's another one here, and another one right there. So we're just kind of like going to look around all of them, and the crazy part is, is I've I've actually checked it. These doors do open, but you can't open them unless you buy the land, which I don't. You guys probably are. Well, there's another collectible. Uh, you guys probably already know that, but that's that's kind of how it works. I guess the doors are locked unless you pay for it. But this yard ain't too bad looking. It's got that big old monster shed. It's got a nice grain silo for storage. This big shed, another big shed. And then I think when I bought this one in the testing of it, there's actually a uh, a mechanics workshop just inside this door. So that's 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 very handy. So it comes with plenty of buildings and a little bit of land. As you can see there, it's not too big, but it, it would definitely work. And it is ninety-seven thousand dollars, which is currently at least less money than we have, so that would be it is possible to buy it. I just don't think we're going to. I'm trying to see if there's any more collectibles around. If you hid any more back here. Probably not. But anyway, we'll jump to let's jump to this one. Oh, that was a little bit loud. But so that is a fermenting silo. I don't know why it's making so much noise because it shouldn't really be doing anything at the moment but that's a fermenting silo and then I don't think I think these are just bins I guess you could store your grain so instead of a grain silo then you just have these where you can just store whatever amount of grain you want we we'll probably won't go that route what are these I'm gonna guess these are maybe these are chicken pens I, I'm not really sure I'm assuming each one of these has animals. I didn't buy this one testing, so... I'm sure there are animals that go in these. Maybe it's sheep or something. I'm not... I don't know. But there's definitely a, a water trough or food trap right there. So there's got to be animals. They have more bunkers over here. So there's plenty of shed. So we have a silage pit, which... We have a silage pit, but we have a silage, like, so that right there basically does what that does. So you put grass or hay or chaff in there, and it will turn it into silage. But this farm is a really good idea. Like, it, it's nice looking. It's kind of far north as far as the store is concerned, but it's not too bad. But it is $164,000. 
so outside of our budget at the moment so we'll jump over to this one it also has a fermenting silo and all of them have a pretty good number of storage sheds like there's that and this and this and that over there so there's plenty of space for our equipment and then there's something else here so I guess this is definitely pigs so maybe that other one was sheep Oh, there's a collectible. So I think for now, we're definitely not going to be buying any of these right now. I, I guess we'll just have to figure out what animals we want to go into right away. So. Is that a silo? What is that? Oh, it's a feed thing for the pigs. That's right. We're still in the pig pen. But yeah, I mean, it looks like there's plenty of sheds at every, at every farm. What is that? That's a field. So let's jump down to... Oh, and this one is $250,000 because it comes with some area back there that I'm guessing probably has some trees or something. Not too bad. And then let's jump to... We won't go next to the fermenting silo on this one. Alright, so here is the fourth farm. And it is actually the cow farm. And I I don't know. I'm kind of leaning toward cows, but I might actually do pigs because I haven't really ever done pigs before. And I think it might be kind of fun. Is this, is this building included? Let's see. It is. So this one is $293,000, which is the most expensive one. So if we wanted to go for this one, like, first off, then it would, it would definitely cost us. But it will fit 400 cows in this on this farm, so that w that would be beneficial. Comes with a silo, or a, a slurry tank, slurry bin, a big old shed here, which I would, I think I'm assuming might have a mechanic shop in it. I don't know. I bet the door won't open though. No, it won't. Any collectibles back here? Two silage bunkers. Again, I don't... I don't know why we would have... I guess if we could sell them, we might sell them. Because we don't need those if we have that. Because, like I said, they do the same thing. So there's no reason to keep the, those bunkers if we have that silage silo. But you do have to pay extra for the silo. I think it said it was $60,000, about like a production... Because uh, it is producing something that is more expensive than what you actually put in it. Just trying to find some collectibles. We need some money. Oh, it does have a grain silo. Nice big grain silo. That would be... That's probably part of the reason why it's so expensive. We got poplar. Yeah, th this is kind of like way far in the future, I think. Let's see if any contracts have popped up. Here we go. Ooh, eighty-four, eighty-four thousand dollars. Uh, field forty-nine parsnips. I bet that would take. It's probably a huge field in it. Yeah, the biggest field on the map. I bet that would take absolutely ages. This is probably more our speed right here. Field 34, which is, hopefully it's not too far from the store. That would, that would be helpful. So there's 30, 32, 37. Oh, it's right behind the store. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. I guess, I guess I'll do that. That might be, might be good. Make $6,000. That won't be too bad. Plus maybe a little extra from the. Harvesting the flax? I don't think I've ever seen flax. Waiting at the shop. We'll just jump over there. We, we won't drive around none. Figure out which way I'm going here. We probably better put go ahead and put that header on that trailer. Um, and of course they've set it down backwards because you know that's how it works if there's a weight to this I don't see a weight get 
this hooked up. We'll go see what flax looks like. I, I don't know if I've ever seen flax before. We have found it. A li little bit. I don't know. I just drove and drove until I found an entrance, but we'll figure it out. It's not too bad. Alright, get this unhooked. Turn our beacons off. Got to have those, man. That's important. All right, let's get get. I don't know which way I want to go first. I guess this way. Go ahead and unfold it, I suppose. Here we go. And we're off. Flax. Man, that, that must be a new crop or something that's in this map that I, I just haven't really ever heard of. It don't look too bad, though. It looks a lot like canola, but... That's like canola. I guess you wouldn't get any straw off this, right? I don't know what that did exactly. Don't. Oh, it did get straw off of it. Huh. Apparently it was, and I just wouldn't notice him. We don't need to get straw off of it. Alright, let's do a little bit of a turn. Yeah, we're getting her good and whooped. Just about done. It has taken a while. A good while. And I ran around and found some collectibles. Some little figurine toy thingy my bobber deals. Let's see how much we got out of it, I guess. shut that off luckily it all fits in one trailer so I only have to make the one trip to the, the sale place but we should get some good money though money 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 man we're up to a hundred and twenty three thousand but a lot of that has to do with the fact that I found 27 of those collectibles so far today so so far our our finances for the day look really good and we still have like a bunch of fertilizer sitting over at the store waiting to be waiting to be done with. Alright, where are we going? Looks like we are going right there. We need to come out to the road, take a left, take a right, take another right, and it's it's a little ways up there it looks like. We did in first person. I, I think that just sounds, sounds better. Let's 
So I still haven't decided. It's been a few hours since I started this episode, but I still haven't decided where in the world am I going? Uh, what farm we're going to buy? I don't know. My thought, original thought, was to save up all the money and so we can buy the cow farm. But really, I, I don't know. Maybe we ought to do pigs. I think it'd be more interesting to do pigs, maybe. But it does. It takes a lot more to do pigs because you gotta have like root crops. And I think before we get animals, we're gonna try to get a little bit of you know get food for the animals before we get them you know but I guess if we got so if we got pigs we'd have to have some root crops I mean just even just one field would be alright but right now we don't really have you know a whole lot of choice we just gotta wait and save up our money we could buy one of the smaller farms for now but at the moment we can just live in our trailer and help the neighbors and see how that goes for a bit but we're gonna try to move out of that trailer about probably about as quick as we can I guess I think that'd be better off we're not gonna buy the place where the trailer's sitting cuz that's a whole lot of money we'll get pulled in here and see how much money we're gonna get I don't think that's the trigger kinda looks like there's another should be another trigger yeah this one right here this one should be the right one I don't think it would let us sell it at the wrong place I don't believe let's see what we get though come on money we get what eight eight thousand dollars I think for doing this contract we're we gonna get anything forty two hundred sixty two dollars man huh I'll definitely take it. That's good money right there. Let's see. Oh, $6,200. That works for me. So I don't want to do that. Or that. Or they just want me to do parsnips. It's all parsnips. Let's see. Harvest the canola in field four. Where is field four? Field four is all the way up there. $5,580. That wouldn't be too bad. Take it to the product to Falls Green. Where Falls Green is. That's American Crops. Oh. There's Falls Garden Center. Maybe Falls Green is right there. Better Earth Products. Sawmill. Oh, watch it be way down here somewhere. Falls logging, falls grain. There it is. Right next to the field that we just did. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Alright, anyway. I, I'll probably go do that. I think that seems like a decent idea. We're up today. $33,000. And I guess we'll look into doing... Buying a farm. But for the time being, I think we'll just... Uh, We'll just keep our place, I suppose. Hopefully, next episode, hopefully episode two, we'll get we'll get moved out of it, and we'll we'll buy a different place. But I don't think this one's got animals, does it? No, it doesn't. Huh. Okay. I think this is this one's pretty cheap. Ninety-seven, one sixty-four. Why does that show? Oh, American Crops. Okay, I'm like, why does that show that we own that? I'm like, well, we own the rest of them too. I'm weirding that a little bit. 293 and... I don't know. Anyway. It'd be alright. But thanks for joining me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We're gonna... We're going to work on getting a house, and I guess if you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. But thanks for joining me. Have a good one.